Hello and welcome back to Prape ERP Next course. In this lecture, we will see how to create custom print format using Jinja templating. Let's start learning. Let's open the web application. Here also I am adding custom print format in server side scripting. So let's open server side scripting doc type and opening one more tab. then open print format doc type add a new print format let's select server side scripting doc type here and i'm adding this format name server side scripting jinja then i am set up this print format as the standard one so this will create a json file inside our file system and we can easily export and import that file into production environment for setup jinja format let's check this checkbox custom format now we can see a print format type select field and inside this field we can see jinja and js i am selecting jinja and here we can add our html codes let's add an h1 tag then inside that Let's type some message. This is from Jinja. Then save this. Go back to server side scripting. Open one document. Then click on print. Select our new print format. It is not visible here. Then reload this. This will clear the cache and update that print format. And now we can see server side scripting Jinja. If I open this, we can see the message. This is from Jinja. There is some spelling mistake is there. I am just removing that. So if I want to print some field, let's add a div. Then inside that, using Jinja templating, we can print different fields so doc dot name the doc object will return every field inside that document and here i am printing that name then save this reload it again and we can see the document name scr0012 so this is the document name and this one is our document let's do some more things i'm adding a label here name then let's add two more fields name uh, then age should be doctor age then next i'm adding dob and dob save this go to print format and reload we can see our fields name age and dob here the age is not proper age let's change to 17 and save this then click on print select our jinja template and now we can see the new age here let's close previous one let's open this document one more time and now let's see how to fetch this family member child table in print format for that uh, let's open print format editor then if you go down you can see one example is here from that example i am just copying this table and uh, paste it inside our html editor so i am not changing the table class let's zoom this a little bit and inside this table body i am just adding some changes here let's remove this all and uh, 
I'm going to fetch the name and age so let's add name here and instead of description let's add age so these are the headings of the table and here I'm using a for loop to iterate the table so our table name is not doc dot items let's go and check what is our table name the table name is family members so let's copy and and paste it inside this for loop let's change to family members so family underscore members so now this for loop will iterate each and every family members row in the table i'm just removing this lines from here and i'm also removing this if statement i'm not using this if statement anymore i just want two fields so let's remove this one too and copy this 15th line three times and first one is serial number so row dot idx is enough for me then the second one is name and the third field is i think it's age so let's verify that go and edit one field so first one is name one and the age is age so let's change to name one save this and reload the print format and here we can see our table and the table with two fields name and age so let's add relation field in between name and age for that let's add a table heading here and it is relation then copy this and paste it in between name and age and change to relation let's check that field name yeah it's relation then save this go back to print format and reload now we can see the relation here now let's see how to add some css customization in this format let's open print format and inspect it then select this one name age area then i'm changing that font size to 15 so let's copy this and paste it inside css then let's add a new class here I'm adding name demo then add this property into that demo class demo then enter this save this and close inspection reload this now the name is in font size 15 let's add those property to age and dob i'm copying this class and paste it inside those fields
then save this reload the format now the font size is changed let's add some background color I'm adding blue color in background then save this go back and refresh you can see that blue background color in name age and DOB field so this is how we can customize this print format using jinja and css one more point is remaining and that is letterhead so let's see how to add letterhead in print format now there is no letterhead is available so let's go to letterhead doc type and here we can add our letterhead Let's add a name, test, letterhead, then I'm adding one image in heading, so this is my image, then I'm uploading that, then click on save. Now we successfully added one letterhead image and let's see how that image look like i believe it is not in a proper aligned way let's reload this and now we can see our letterhead on the top of this print format i am not using our custom print format because if we use custom print format we should mention that letterhead area in html tag so in standard format we can see the letterhead here now let's see how to add a footer so again go to letterhead doc type then here we can see footer html editor let's add some lines thank you and uh, i'm adding this inside a div tag then let's open one more div let's add email address close the div and if you click on this preview button we can see our footer preview let's save this and go back to print window reload this now we can see the footer here sorry the spelling mistake is there let's edit that save this yeah now it is fine yeah now that uh, div is gone so here we can see our footer and uh, header image so this is how we can add headers and footers in print format page let's wind up this lecture and see you on the next lecture bye